I see a Miles, um, I'm gonna stay miles away from him. Oh, his name is Smiles. That would have been a good joke, but not really. Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Awesome Knots. A new character was unveiled in the beta today, and it is Smiles, a croc with a flamethrower. Bushfire uh, doesn't light enemies on fire, but does a good amount of damage. Tail Whip will knock your enemies back and stun them slightly. Trapper's Hook can be used to uh, attach an enemy to yourself. The b upgrades for Bushfire include a damage increase, adding a big flame, which adds a DOT. First five flames will burn scenery, which is interesting. Range of Bushfire, obviously something to go for. Damage of Bushfire against droids, maybe if you want to clear faster. And then base damage of bushfire against enemies who are uh, snared, which is really cool. And then you've got the uh, cooldown of tail whip decrease, really nice. Damage of tail whip increase, also really nice. And then choosing between the last four is hard. I would probably go for that stun increase. Increased damage against enemy awesome knots when they have more than 50% health. Uh, hitting friendly droids will heal them, which is pretty cool. And then a slowing effect, which uh, might be tied for um, the, the stun. Anyways, the, the hook can be uh, increased the base damage, which is really nice. Range of the hook by 25%, obviously really nice. Again, decreasing uh, damage output of the hook awesome knot is pretty okay. Uh, damage of your next tail whip after you chain an awesome knot, really nice. And a lifesteal effect to the hook, also really nice. Uh, reducing cooldown of the hook by 60% after hitting an enemy with the tail whip. Really, it's going to be hard to choose between these skills. Um, they are all exceedingly awesome. Definitely want to go for uh, cooldown, decrease, and damage increase whenever possible. But um, as far as the other skills go, it's hard to tell. It's hard to make a, a definite choice between all of them. Because this character has some really nice synergy between all of his skills. And um, I really like his style as well. Alright, here we go with Mr. Miles. I'm really hoping that uh, his... Killing Spree or theme music has a didgeridoo involved because that is uh, an inherently Australian thing, at least uh, as far as I know, <laughs> and I think it would be fucking hilarious. I tried to dra drag the uh, scoop into the turret just then, but the snare duration is super super short, which I think is uh, pretty interesting. It probably would be overpowered if it was any longer than it is, and there is no uh, duration upgrade for that. So there's uh, a triple kill for the Dayton does right in the beginning of the match. Fucking fantastic. I don't know why I keep getting this uh, shitty one turret map, but I guess it's pretty good for just uh, jumping in and showing off what a character can do. And thankfully we have all of our bots out here this time. Uh, when I was showcasing Dizzy, we weren't able to do that for some reason. But um, yeah, we got Froggy G and Clunk hanging out, able to knock the droids back from the turret just a little bit uh, with that tail whip. It's a really, really powerful thing. Um, I expect Miles to be nerfed just a little bit because right now his damage output is fucking insane. Um, there's very little that can stand up against it, especially once you get the uh, damage increase upgrades and all that stuff. So there's another kill <laughs> with, uh, with the tail whip on the clunk. So fucking amazing. Um, yeah, especially the flamethrower. You can tell that uh, it does more than most auto attacks will do. Even against turrets and things like that, um, it seems to be chewing it up extremely well. And then that tail whip, boom! Just knocked the droids back slightly, but every uh, second counts when you're up against the turret. So look at that, we've chewed this thing up almost uh, in one go, I believe. So, fucking piece of cake. Wonderfully done, 5-0 and oh already. Absolutely amazing. I love this character. He hasn't been released yet, but uh, as soon as he is, he's probably going to be one of my, my new loves. I have yet to see the uh, other characters aside from Dizzy. There are two more coming, and I'm super excited for all of them. Again, trying to drag that scoop into the turret, but uh, really short duration. I think it would be good to uh, chain him up when he's on the left side, and then tail whip him in the turret. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit hard to pull off. I don't think that that's going to really be that viable of a tactic, at least uh, not until I get a few few more games under my belt. So, gonna go ahead, go back to base now, pick up some damage upgrades for absolutely everything that I can, because this is definitely a, a fighter character. He's definitely meant to be in the middle of the fray. Got a really, really big base health total, and um, yeah. 
nice for initiating. You can hook somebody with that uh, that trapper hook and get a little heal with it if you need. Damage increase on it, increase the range so people won't expect that. I really like that with Ulip's Gaze as well. Increasing the range of that is uh, a super helpful thing, so I assume that's something that I will be going for, especially since duration increase is not a thing that is available. Um, range, damage against droids, probably uh, base damage of the flamethrower would all be something to go for, just so you can chew things up as fast as possible. I've got two, uh, two enemies over here, and you can see that I took that scoop down to about one-third of his health with just, uh, just the combination of my skills and a little bit of flamethrower. Able to chew that clunk up really, really well. Yeah, this character's damage output is just insane, and when combined with his fucking health total, um, it's it's a dooming thing. Um, I'm going to go ahead and preemptively say this character will probably be seeing a nerf sometime in the future, but until that happens, uh, I'm definitely enjoying playing him, even probably after the nerf happens, no problem. It might be that the bots just don't know what to do against fire quite yet. They seem to stand in the fire uh, relatively easy, and look at that, just... Uh, Chewing that scoop up, he's got a giant base health total too, but uh, when compared to Miles, it's, yeah, it's not something that he can stand up against because Miles has, has uh, burst damage in a way that scoop simply does not. So I'm going to creep just a little bit, push our droids up to that top turret, see what we can do. I see uh, Scree is lurking on the bottom there, but that's fine. He don't want none of this. I don't think anybody would. If I see a Miles, um, I'm gonna stay miles away from him. Oh, his name is Smiles. That would have been a good joke, but not really. <laughs> it was almost a good joke. It was. Al it almost made sense. I'm gonna leave Froggy there to fucking do his own thing, see if I can get some more health up, because I want to be at full health, and then uh, I'm basically guaranteed to get the get the kill. Uh, yeah, giant health total and all the damage that I'm able to uh, shoot out. Unfortunately, the hooker doesn't do anything, the hooker, <laughs> against uh, droids, but that's okay. It seems like he has more than enough gas to go up against enemy awesome nods, and I just bounced that clunk into the bumper, which I think is really funny. Let's see if I can smack him into the turret just a little bit. That's really nice. And there we go, head to head with the clunk, but uh, he's not able to do a whole lot against me. I really think burning scenery would be a, a cool thing for Miles as well. Um, just a little DOT damage, just kind of like Dizzy has, placing mines, except instead of mines, you're you're placing a, a bit of fire that the enemy has to avoid. So I think that's going to be super useful as well. Oh my god. Just absolutely wrecking this team. 13-0, <laughs> and 0, that is fucking unheard of. We're going to get the awesome, the awesome Knots music soon. You know, the one that's like, Red Team is awesome! Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. Thanks, bro. And I was able to smack that clunk out of range so he couldn't get his uh, bite off me, and I got the tail whip going first. So that's super awesome. 14 and 0, just fucking madness. Even against bots, that is, that is crazy. This fucking character is so, so good. Uh, damage increase, cooldown reduction. Basically, that's all I'm going to go for. Health regen, all that kind of stuff, boots, it can all come secondary as far as I'm concerned because this character doesn't seem to need to run away from things just yet. Um, maybe when he goes live, you know, he'll be a little more squishy or something like that. But right now, he just doesn't fear anything. As you can see, took down a whole wave of wasps and droids together and hardly took any damage doing it. So, fuck yeah, Smiles. <laughs> Amazing, amazing character. I thought I was going to get that clunk. Let's see if we can do it. Missed my trap, but that's okay. He's not smart enough to stay out of the fire. Bro, we learned this in the world of Warcraft, okay? You play against Anixia. Stay out of the fire. Don't hit the eggs. So many whelps. Left side. No, wait. Right side. Maybe uh, maybe Sm Smiles is a, a whelp. A dragon whelp, and that's why he breathes fire and he's so strong. It's all making sense now. <laughs> this thing that I just made up is making a lot of sense to me. Holy shit, 15 and 0. I'm basically not scared of anybody. I would usually stay away from a scoop and a clunk, but this character's got um, the kind of health that just, it doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter at all. I thought I was going to be able to save my clunk. That doesn't seem to be the case. Snare that clunk as he tries to run away. And uh, now we're at 18 and 0. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I think 20 and 0 is what I need to get the, uh, the awesome soundtrack thing. So hopefully we can get to that. But, I mean, even if we don't, I just, I'm fucking shocked with how I've been able to play this character. And this is only my second match with him, so I would say uh, he's a relatively easy character to play as well. Come over here, Scoop. And then you just kind of whip him away. And look at that, he's taken half of his health already. <laughs> just fucking astonishing. Uh, as soon as this turret comes down, it's gonna be over. There, Tail Whip and the Froggy G. This punk's going down again. There we go, 20 and 0. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What the fuck, dude? Oh, man. I, I, I just don't have the words. Red Team is dominating. Red Team is dominating in a way that I, I've never really seen a character, especially in beta, able to do. Even uh, Jimmy and the Lux 5000 was not able to do this against um, bot characters, at least in my experience. Look at that. More kills. And um, it's really easy to get the kills with Smiles because his attack speed is so freaking fast. Plunk thinks he's gonna go home. I s snatch him up with my claw. A little bit of tail whipping action. Nobody can can come against this character. I'm gonna I'm gonna say for sure there's gonna be a nerf, but until then, I'm just having a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and I can't wait till he goes live. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Awesome Knots with Smiles, the uh, the new character upcoming. He's fucking fantastic. I hope that you'll join me for the next episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, that is always appreciated. It helps the channel to get out there. And you know I love these beta videos, so I'm going to keep them coming with the next two characters. Hopefully we can get a PvP match with Dizzy coming quite soon, and I hope you look forward to that. I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, oh! One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.